pulse and choreography. So pulse definition is the rhythmical vibration of the blood vessels as blood is propelled through them uh, by the heart. A pulse uh, may be palpated uh, on uh, the large arteries like carotid artery and the radial artery. Uh, some characteristics of pulse are known uh, like rhythmicity, frequency, the strength, strength and feeling. It is important to know that the velocity of the pulse wave is much more than the velocity of the linear blood flow. The linear, the linear blood flow velocity is maximal in aorta. It reaches 0 0.5 meter per second. The velocity of pulse wave may um, be 6, 7, 8 meters per second and it increases when the uh, wall of the blood vessel is more rigid. For example, it happens in arterial sclerosis because the rigid blood vessel wall conducts the mechanical vibration due to the cardiac output faster. Uh, to estimate the uh, pulse, uh, not only palpation may be used, but there is a specific method that is called rheography. So what is the background for rheography? For registration of rheogram, two electrodes are placed on some part of the body. For example, uh, for example they may be placed on the forearm, forearm, one electrode and the second electrode. And by mm, producing the uh, slight, the weak electric current between these two electrodes, it is possible to measure the electric, electrical resistance between these two electrodes. Electrical resistance will be not constant because the filling of large arteries with the blood will be not constant. We will draw the artery that is filled with the blood. The more is filling, the better the electricity is conducted. Therefore, the less is resistance, electrical resistance of that part of the body. The blood is electrolyte. The blood itself conducts electricity very well. That's why when the pulse wave is traveling along the blood vessels, the blood vessel is a little bit wider so the filling with blood is more and that's why the electrical conductivity increases therefore the resistance electrical resistance decreases if we will be, if we will measure such electrical resistance we will uh, produce rio vasogram which looks like the following graph represents. On that graph we have anacrota, catacrota, incisura and dicrota. So anacrota, catacrota, incisura, and dicrota. Uh, 
the incisura is produced by the um, reverse blood flow in large blood vessels due to the closure of the semilunar valves and then the elastic fibers of aorta and uh, large vessels large arteries produces an, an additional effort for the propulsing to propulse the blood into the into the um, uh, bloodstream into the vascular net if the uh, vascular tone increases for example due to the increase of the sympathetic tone then the rheogram changes anacrota became longer and the amplitude of rheogram decreases so for example after application of the cold after application of the cold temperature cold object after immersing of a hand into the cold water for example the rheogram will change and it will look like that so the amplitude decreases and the duration of anacrota increases so this type of rheogram reflects the increase of the vas vascular tone uh, so this method is used for diagnostic of the uh, blood vessels another method that is widely used is based on the ultrasound method and it uses the Doppler effect and it may be um, a good source of information about the direction and the intensity of the, of the blood flow in the blood vessels with the different lumen and uh, now we will also uh, speak a little bit about the peculiarities of the blood flow in some separate regions of the body so we will start with the circulation in the heart so the uh, the, 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 the the heart is uh, consuming about five to eight percent of the total cardiac output it is uh, ra rather um, uh, big amount of blood because uh, the, the heart uh, weight is only approximately 300 grams and it will be less than 1% of the uh, total body weight the circulation in the heart is produced by carotid arteries carotid arteries they begin from aorta directly from aorta and um, the, uh, uh, the coronary circulation the circulation of the heart is ended in the uh, sinus uh, venous sinus and the blood uh, venous blood is directed in in the chamber in in, uh, in the chambers of the heart the second peculiarity is that this the circulation in the heart occurs during the diastole not the systole but during the diastole when the heart relaxes and, uh, another peculiarity of the cardiac circulation of the coronary circulation is that it uh, receives sympathetic as well as parasympathetic innervation so both systems parasympathetic nervous system takes part in the regulation of the vascular tone of the coronary arteries then uh, in the heart uh, we do not observe 
uh, bypass vessels, so-called anastomosis, they are absent. Therefore, there is no possibility for compensation of thrombosis if some blood vessel coronary artery will be blocked. We have no possibility to compensate the uh, blood flow in that region. That's why infarctions are usually observed in the case if there is thrombosis of the blood vessels. And uh, also it is uh, good to remember that the conditioning of uh, the conditioning, conditioned reflexes are easily developed in the case of uh, the coronary arteries. Uh, for example, if the person after the infarction, myocardial infarction, after stenocardia, after the pain uh, in the chest, will think about the conditions which were um, before the disease, this may initiate reinfarction and uh, um, the, 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 infar the cardiac infarction may repeat. Then we will speak about the circulation in lungs. Pulmonary circulation. So pulmonary circulation begins in the right ventricle and is ended in the left or atrium. Uh, the right ventricle is weaker, is not so strong as the left ventricle. So therefore, the pressure, systolic pressure in the small, in the um, pulmonary circulation is about 25, maximum 30 millimeters mercury. 30 millimeters mercury. <clears throat> it is less than in the large, in the systemic circulation. Uh, the Capillaries in the pulmonary circulation are shorter and wider, so approximately three times wider. Their lumen is about 15 micrometers, so therefore the pressure in the capillaries is also less than in the systemic, in the large circle, in the systemic circulation. And if pressure increases in lungs, in the in pulmonary circulation, it may be even dangerous because it may lead to the edema, lungs edema, the severe complication of many um, uh, insufficient, many, many um, diseases. And uh, the therapy of lung edema is problematic. Then, um, next property is that the lungs may serve may store the blood excluding some uh, huge amount of blood from the circulation up to 1200 milliliters of blood may be stored in in lungs so the lung uh, the lungs may serve as a depot may serve as a depot of the blood uh, the next peculiarity is that the arterial blood uh, that uh, substitutes the needs of, with, of oxygen uh, uh, for consumption of oxygen and nutrients is produced not by the uh, pulmonary uh, artery, not from the uh, pulmonary circulation, but from the large systemic circulation through bronchial arteries. And uh, the next peculiarity is that thrombosis of the pulmonary artery is very dangerous when uh, the thrombosis occurs in bifurcation where the uh, pulmonary artery is divided into two branches. It may uh, produce uh, the uh, reflectory stop of uh, the um, cardiac control and may lead to the death in several hours to the death of the patient and uh, at, at, at least we will speak about the um, uh, circulation in the brain circulation in the brain 
so the brain uh, weight is about 1500 maybe a little bit more or a little bit less grams but the brain consumes also sub substantial amount of the blood about 15 percent of blood uh, of the cardiac output is directed into the brain and the brain consumes about 20 percent of oxygen uh, the next peculiarity is that the brain uh, circulation the brain is very constant there is no pulsation the pulsation vibration of the blood flow is absent no pulse uh, due to the specific um, type of blood vessels we have many blood vessels which um, produce um, amortization uh, of the blood flow such zigzags uh, zigzag z uh, like uh, blood vessels so the, the blood flow in the brain is constant in the brain uh, in comparison uh, in contrast with uh, the heart we have a lot of anastomosis we have a lot of bypass vessels which will compensate the deficiency of um, the um, blood flow then uh, we have very dense capillary net in the brain the then the the the, the brain uh, microcirculation density is the most uh, prominent uh, in comparison with other parts of the body uh, the brain blood vessels do have the double innovation we have blood uh, we have uh, mechanisms of vasoconstriction and vasodilation in the brain and auto regulation of the circulation uh, takes place in uh, the um, brain and the humoral factors like carbon dioxide and oxygen are important factors that uh, play uh, an important role in the distribution of blood in the brain in some parts of the brain the permeability of capillaries is uh, extremely high for example in the hypothalamus where uh, the contact between the blood and the neurons is possible due to the to this to this to this specific property so the hypothalamus is able to monitor the internal environment it monitors the content of blood but in other parts of the brain uh, vice versa due to the blind to due to the blood brain barrier the neurons are protected from uh, the dangerous compounds that may be found in the blood so this barrier is uh, limiting the excess of toxins and uh, dangerous compounds uh, to neurons so the brain is well protected but in case of stresses in some diseases the permeability of blood brain barrier may change uh, significantly.